I was saying that if you live uh, in planet Earth before 1987, uh, you really do live in hell. And Earth history is replete with examples of states of hell, the vast warring that continuously went on on the planet. Torture, murder, rape, theft, abuse of power, the whole gamut of being in hell. Uh, you don't have to die a bad person to go to hell. Uh, being born on planet Earth before 1987 is being born in hell. But, you know, the crabs in the bucket is trying to pull yourself out of hell is very difficult because uh, most of the people around you are hellions and they know what you're up to that you don't want to be in hell you don't want to be a hellion anymore and they do everything they can to pull you back into hell so you know progress on planet earth has been very slow and you know why was it that we finally managed to get over calibration level 200 courage um, there are other planets besides earth and there are beings all over the universe who know what's going on on planet Earth. Why did they wait so long to help? Not that they waited so long, it's just taken a great concerted effort on behalf of the beings of other places, because in other places it's not like it's clean, it's like our universe is a free will universe, which means you have the freedom to choose between being a hellion and being something other than a hellion. And it's not like there's a lot of places on uh, other planets where there are a lot of beings who uh, have nothing to do because they don't have any hellions there to deal with so they can come and help on planet Earth. Uh, it's not like that. It's more like in the Star Wars universe where uh, though as the whole galaxy goes with one evil empire, no. Uh, consider them to be more like petty tyrants all over the place. A petty tyrant is a Carlos Castaneda term for uh, basically people like, you know, the kind of the boss that you can't stand and you want to quit on. Uh, anyways, that's the end of my talk. Uh, what is the positivity that you can take away from this talk? Well, that is, if you find that you are doing spiritual work and it seems like you are running into a lot of personal difficulties. You can say, the reason you are running into personal difficulties is because it's like you are going against a current in a very strong river. The river of negativity is still very strong on planet Earth. And it's full of people you meet all the time and um, people who might be transdimensional, in other words, not in the physical on your planet, but still have got ways of manipulating you. So, don't lose heart, and don't stop doing your spiritual work, trying to get to higher states of consciousness. Keep going, keep going. But if you do find that uh, life is tough, and maybe even tougher than before you started your spiritual work, then it's a sign that you are going against the current of negativity, and it's very difficult because it's not a good reward. But congratulations, because if you are experiencing tough times because you're being a spiritual person, it is a sign that you are personally are making tremendous progress. And the advantage of that, uh, you might not even see it in your present lifetime. But there are stories from many masters who say if you can get through earth and have a vector in other words a direction and a speed going towards higher consciousness which is a form of like agape love love for other beings if you got if you got that firmly rooted in yourself uh when you leave planet earth you know when you drop dead um they perhaps will offer you a chance to go to uh, a different kind of planet where there's not so much negativity. So it's good for your soul. You know, 
again, if you think that when you drop your body that you're dead and your consciousness quits, your awareness quits, uh, that is incorrect. You may not have to reincarnate on planet Earth. You may have other options presented to you. But if you don't do your spiritual work and work towards higher consciousness, agape love for other beings, uh, you will be guaranteed to come back to a hell world. And perhaps it won't be planet Earth. Perhaps it will be even deeper hell world than what you've experienced so far. So it's carrot in the stick. You know, is it going to be an ascended Earth? I don't know. I don't know where Earth is going to be. I don't know what the options are, where they're going to put you in time, you know, backwards and forwards in time. They've got all kinds of ways, because time is, in our reality, it only seems to go, you know, year after year. You count from, you know, 2018 to 2019 to 2020. But you can go out of time. Time is just part of our world. And it doesn't mean that there's not other ways of time traveling if you're not in our world. I'm Harry Weaver.